All right, so we're gonna make a grapefruit cranberry red wine relish or cranberry sauce, whatever, however you wanna call it. It's kind of a play on words anyway. Basically, this is a really good thing to have for your Thanksgiving or your holiday tables, especially if you're, if you're serving things like turkey or duck or even chicken. It works really, really nicely. Also, like make a little extra. If you have extra around, save it. Uh, really good with a cheese plate, you know, like um, really fantastic with goat cheese and and uh, you know some sort of funkier cheeses like blue cheese, cranberries, blue cheese. Mm, that sounds really good, just on a cracker or on a piece of toast. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really, really simple. You know, one of the things I, I just want to talk about cranberries. Cr cranberries. I mean, when you look at cranberries, right? Look at them. Look at them. See these cranberries? They look beautiful. They look sweet and um, you know and fruity, and they are fruity. But the difference is, is that they are not sweet, they're tart. They kind of fake you out by the color. So it, you definitely have to bring some things to sweeten them. You can use honey. I'm gonna use some sugar and also some fruit juices to do that. So let's begin. We're gonna start by finally slicing up uh, a shallot. You can, use, you can use an onion if you want. Uh, and I'm gonna chop it up pretty finely. I love shallots, I use a ton of shallots. I use them, at this point I just feel like I use them in place of onions. They just have a nicer flavor. We have some chopped up sh uh, shallots, some chopped up ginger, and these are gonna be sort of the aromatics that we're gonna start with. I'm gonna put a little canola oil in there, a light oil. The shallots in there, and the ginger, and we're gonna let these cook until they, uh, they kind of open up a little bit. You know, you wanna release some of their natural flavors. Let's talk about some of the other ingredients here. We have some orange juice, some grapefruit juice. We have some grapefruit segments, which we're gonna add later and of course the cranberries, and then the red wine. The red wine is gonna give it a nice, like acidic, very kind of heady flavor t to, the, uh, to the cranberry sauce, and I think it's one of the things that's actually going to separate this from the, from the other cranberry sauces that you taste. A lot of times I find them to be like overly sweet. Like I want some of that tartness in the cranberry sauce to, to remain, you know, from the cranberries, and I think the red wine will actually help develop that really nicely. The ginger smells so good. We're gonna add some of the cranberries, like maybe three quarters of them. We'll save some for later. And then what I like to do is just mix it up with some of the aromatics. What I want to happen is I want the, I want the cranberries to get hot and I want them to, I want them to you know, basically boil in the juices and the wine and they're gonna pop. And once they pop, they're going to release their own natural pectin, which will then thicken the sauce. You know, the cranberries are their own natural thickening agent, which is kind of cool. So we have the, uh, the juices, the red wine, the shallots and the ginger and the cranberries. And we're gonna let those cook until the wine reduces, cooks off the alcohol, you save the flavor of the grape. The, the cranberries um, start to pop open and they start to thicken. And they're gonna start to thicken the, the grapefruit juice and the orange juice. At the same time, it's reducing. We're gonna add a little sugar here as well just to kind of chill out some of the tartness. We don't want to make it too sweet, but you're going to get a really delicious, well-balanced, tart, sweet, fruity, sort of a tiny bit of acidity from the red wine and the cranberries. This is going to be your go-to cranberry sauce. And then I add the rest of the cranberries to kind of give it a different texture, because the other cranberries that I put in first are really going to cook down in puree. And then I want, I want to cook the other cranberries. I still want to cook them and let them pop open let them cook for a while, but it will just give it a little bit of a uh, little chunkier texture. Okay, so at this point, the cranberries have cooked down. The ones I put in second are, you know, are cooked through, so they're, they're a little chunky. And you know, we just want this to cool down, and the cranberries will keep cooking until it's stone cold. And so at this point, what we're going to do is add some zest. You know, we have some grapefruits, so we're going to add some, some zest of grapefruit and some zest of orange. This just adds, just reinforces so much of that citrus flavor. The zest is always good to use. It's a very fresh flavor and it enhances the flavor of the citrus and it's free, use it. And then I have some grapefruit segments as well. And then some parsley, I'm just gonna chop finely and then just kind of fold all of this in.
and then let it cool. And as it cool, we got it even thicker. And then you, you know, you want to let this cool. You can put it in the refrigerator, but you want to serve it room temperature or a little cold. Mm -hmm.